Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made over this filing cabinet that I've had in my garage a few years already. I hope this video motivates you to take something old and make it new again. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm doing is taking some coarse grit sandpaper to sand this piece down. And once that's done, you want to go ahead and take a wet cloth or a Clorox wipe and wipe it down, get rid of all the dust. Okay, so here I have some homemade chalk paint that I made um, using black. If you don't know how to make it, you can always purchase some from Home Depot, Walmart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one coat of paint and I'm going to let it dry. Now here I'm going in with a second coat of paint and all I did was two coats on this bottom cabinet. Here's how it looks once it's dried. Now this will change once I apply the sealer to it. It looks like a charcoal black. So I wanted to add uh, some stencils to this. So here I am. I cut out some stencils and using some acrylic paint and a foam brush, I'm gonna go ahead and dab the paint onto the stencils once I apply them to where I want them. Now, if you don't have stencils, you could always do the method that I've shown in my other videos. Go ahead and go through those as you just print out your image, scribble the back of it with a pencil, and then you just trace the top with the pen and that's gonna uh, reflect the image onto whatever you're applying it to. And then from there you can go ahead and use a paint marker or a brush to apply the paint. Now here I'm just distressing it. I love everything distressed. You can get away with it a lot more especially when you have kids. I'm just finding little areas and I sand it down. Okay, so once I've sanded that, I'm taking a wet cloth and I'm wiping it down once again to get rid of any dust and debris. Okay, so now I took it outside and I am going to apply some sealer to it. I'm using this one right here that gives it a clear satin look to it. I'm just going to go ahead and apply one coat of this throughout the whole cabinet.
Okay, so now this next step, I'm taking some trim and I'm measuring it around the filing cabinet. Now you wanna go ahead and cut your wood at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm taking some stain and I'm gonna give it one coat of stain. And this was the last minute because once I was done, it gave it more of an industrial look and I'm going for a farmhouse look. So I think this really uh, made it to look that way. So once it's all cut, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some liquid nail that you can also purchase from your hardware stores. I'm gonna put that on the cabinet. And then taking some tape, I'm gonna apply some tape to it to hold it in place so it dries overnight. Not only did the front and sides, I didn't worry about the back because nobody's really ever gonna see that. I'm just cleaning up any liquid nail that came out. And that's it for my filing cabinet makeover. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this. And you will never know that I'm hoarding lots of paint and craft supplies in this. It just looks so beautiful. I love it. And I hope this is motivation to get out there and work on a bigger piece. So if you want to keep seeing more of these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.